There's this protection plastic on top of the metal, but it's really difficult to remove. It stick, it stuck so much. It's glued so well. I cannot get it out. Muy aproximado. Muy aproximado, el ojo clínico va bien. Okay. Before using the stove, you have to preheat it first. Arde o no arde? Sí, arde. Do you like the new stove? The wonderful thing. Yeah. No, I hope I... now we can go to the sauna. Yes. Without any problems. This is the brand Kota. And I just noticed that the water heater is actually the same. You can just barely see the logo here, but it's the same brand. And that was just a coincidence. Now I have to leave this area because there is some poisonous gases and stuff that can come out now when you burn for the first time from the plastics that have been covering it. And the paint, I think. So we're having the window open to air it and I will close the door. Can burn there for a while. You won't believe what I found. This looks like an old well. I will need more muscle power. I cannot lift it by myself. Here are the bushes that I cut and we will take them away now. But before that, we are removing all the debris from the roof and taking it to the road. But this is how empty it looks now. No bushes, it's all weeds. We're fixing up a little the road here. This will become on the bottom and then we will put some sand on top or gravel. These are concrete tiles, so they are really soft now. They are so old. They're just crumbling.
That part is not the worst. It's here when you drive down there. It's a very deep hole. Here. And also by that little bridge that crosses the creek. They put some tiles in the side of the road here, but it doesn't make any sense because the water will gather here and then it makes a hole on the road because it wants to go back to the river like it has done here this is where it flows back to the river so we have to make the flooding stop at least for a while so that we can drive here safely so we're putting those brick up there in that big hole there in the back we're filling up that hole and this will become there in the bottom and then we put the gravel on top the neighbor was here to look at the road and he will order some gravel, three lorry fulls of gravel and then dump it there in the, on the road. Since the water level goes very high after the winter in springtime, it's not enough to have one drain pipe that goes under the, the road. We will have to make another one at some point or there will be always problems with the flooding here we are going to have to dig a ditch around this corner here because the water flows down here, so those stones won't last forever. We managed to clear the roof tiles and the chimney tiles and those I keep for now and now we just have to remove the moss as well and those bushes in the background.
Here is 40 kilos of stones for the sauna stove. These stones are olivine diabase. They look like this. These stones are 10 to 15 centimeters big, but if you have smaller stones, you put, you put them on top of the big ones. Last ones. Yes. Yes, it's looking good. For the winter, we're gonna put the trailer in this tractor shed, so we're gonna take the last trash hole to the dump. This is only like plastic buckets, styrofoam, and other nice things. There's at least 50 buckets in, in this, so. And just plastic canisters big amount. Esta es una fase delicada porque patina mucho aquí. Vale. Here we tested the curve. I drove here, so I didn't even go on top of the tiles. It's pretty soft, but yeah, the gravel should be arriving soon. One of the windows has broken. You can see here it has crashed. And the reason is that bird. It flew into the window. Poor birdie. It's very big. It's the size of my foot. It's getting really dark and it cannot be more than 4 o'clock or 4.30. It's 4.30 in the evening. 
and it's almost getting pitch black already.